I went also from a life where I was told what to do every second of the day. And then I get out of the show and now I have like a life. I'm so busy. I will wake up and look at my to-do list and get so overwhelmed. Even if it just says brush your teeth, I don't know what it is. I'll be like, okay, brush my teeth, but should I make my bed before or yes, off? Yes, I'm the like, same I get way. It's Sophia Franklin. You are listening to Sophia with an F. Hey, and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> Let's air this shit out. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Sophia with an F. I am sitting here with Kalani Hilliker, and we've already gossiped for 20 minutes, so <laughs> this is going to go swimmingly, but I do just want to say subscribe if you haven't already, and we are recording from WTF Media Studios. So hot, so chic. You look stunning. Thanks, bitch. Kalani, you look good. Kalani showed up and was like, I'm gonna show this bitch up on her own show. Well, the That's thing the is, this is bringing. like, no, like I'm obsessed with you. Like, I hate to like be a fangirl, but I am. As soon as I saw, hey, Sophia would love to have you on Sophia with an F, and they were like, give me the full rundown. I literally just said, <laughs> yes. That's all I said. I was like, yes. And then they were like, oh, great. So you wanna do it? I'm like, Yes. Right. I love that. Thank you so much. That like means the world to me because you're like a little celebrity. Like, so I'm, I'm I'm not. No, you see, are though. No, okay, so here's the thing. Break it down for me. I don't think I am, but that's because like I live in Arizona. I live in Scottsdale. Ever been? Yes, I've been to Arizona once for what's that like golf thing that everyone gets faded uh, off? Oh, um, waste management. Waste management. I go every year. But like I live there and I just live a very like normal life. Mm -hmm. So I like don't really think of myself like that because yeah. I'm just like a very like low key. Low key. And you're not like in the scene. Yeah, I'm not. You're like, I'm actually here for New York Fashion Week. So how yeah. the are you not in the scene? I don't really go out okay. and I don't hang out with a bunch of other influencers. Yeah. And but it's not because I think I'm too cool same, or anything. I'm, I'm just. I don't know what I do. I think I'm busy and I sleep and I travel a lot. Yeah. I know? feel like, yeah, I don't know. I just like am not very in the mix. Like I fangirl over people. Like I went to Sherry Hill last night and like Tana was there. Like I didn't even say hi to her, which I like kind of know her. But like, I'm like, oh my God, like she's here. Like, oh my God, I actually really <laughs> like her. Well, I think I love that about us. Yeah. Because I mean, how fucking <laughs> annoying if we sat here and we were talking about like how like our celeb status yeah no <laughs> seriously though that, i mean that i'm like not. a z-list celebrity oh. like down down there no 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 i think i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna give myself a d i'm gonna give oh, myself a d? a d and if i'm a d you're definitely a minus b plus i'm gonna stick i'm gonna stick with the d we're gonna be d <laughs> we're gonna stay at the d level <laughs> so were you too scared to go up to tiana and like say what's up no honestly i was just so tired last night yeah. like I sat down I watched the show and I got out like I like saw her at like Coachella and I like said hey but I was also blackout drunk so it's like mm -hmm. you know I kind of have more like energy like last night I was like completely sober tired I saw a ton of people there I just was like I'm that, gonna go home that's, <laughs> like, wait, that's such an interesting concept because basically what you're saying is if I was drunk or drinking I would have energy and I'd be bubbly and yeah and people I'm pretty sure like, you know, medical professionals, they try to say not drinking will help you with your energy levels. And I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I think, I think that's the I biggest no. scam because if I was drunk right now, I mean, you're giving me energy. So oh, I actually, good. I need to spend the rest of New York Fashion Week with you. But cool. before you walked in the room, my energy levels were here and it's because I'm sober. I literally, I was about to be like, do you want to take 10 shots to the face right now? Because I'm like, I will. <laughs> if, this, if this recording wasn't happening at like, you know, noon. I know, that was the issue. But if it was 2 p.m., I'd be like, do you want to like pregame before? We had a 2 p.m. slot. I should have took that one. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> you were telling me about Tiana. And by the way, we're talking about Tiana Mojo. She was eating like Twizzlers in the yes. front row. Yeah. I wish I was doing that. Like I, I should be doing that. I think we put so much pressure on New York Fashion Week. I went to La Jeance. That was the first presentation I went to. And I didn't do glam or anything. Yeah. I just did my own makeup. Cause it just it, like a normal civilian. God did your own makeup. I showed up. I will never make that mistake again. Yeah. I walked in there and girls have full glam, oh, it's hair a done. Like they just people go in ready to no. slay and ready to be like to bring it. Yeah, like I went to Alice and Olivia and I was out the whole night before doing, I don't even know where I was, but mm -hmm. I woke up the next day and I was supposed to glam and I was like, nah, I slept until three. 
literally left at 3.30 to go to <laughs> Alice and Olivia. And then people were like, Kalani, we're going to take a picture of you. And I was like, oh shit. You're I like, would maybe gotten ready. I can't believe you passed up glam. Like that no, is that. I passed up glam this morning too. Okay, see, <laughs> I got glam done yesterday. Yeah. Not yesterday. I slept all day, day yesterday. yesterday. See, yeah. Kalani and I have, we don't know where we are. We don't know what we've done. <laughs> we don't know where you. we've been. We don't know what's going on. But I got glam done for Alice and Olivia. Okay, yeah. And it's just, I can't even look in the mirror without having glammed. Okay, I feel like I look pretty good right now. No, I'm just you look put that stunning. out there. Like, and I did this all by myself. But I think that goes back to dance. Mm -hmm. Like, did you do anything growing up? Did I, you dance or anything? Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> I was a professional cheerleader for Max All Star oh. Cheer based in Draper, Utah. Wait. It was a competitive cheer team. <laughs> I made it all the way to silver. I did not make it to stars though because I could not. Oh, I, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. When they thank go to like you. Worlds and it's like a. Worlds is, that shit yeah. is crazy. It looks crazy. I could never get my full. So I never got that down. So I could never, I make never it made there. it to stars. You were the flyer. You're tiny. I wasn't you, a flyer because I wasn't were, good at that. What were you doing? I was actually really good at tumbling. Like I had my oh, back okay. tuck tumbling. down, standing back tuck. And but like, I cannot imagine you like. <laughs> <laughs> I was the, I was the girl in the front. What is it? Like the, whatever. The, per, the person that's literally there to just like catch the girl Hopefully and shit goes AWOL. <laughs> Which I also feel like shouldn't be you either. Do you know how many girls fell onto the floor and I like would <laughs> run away and be like, oh my God, like that should have been like the back spot. Yeah, like, like that had nothing to do with me. It wasn't me. But um, no, so yes. But with glam, like I had to do every single day my whole life basically full competition makeup. And you would do it yourself. Yeah. So like my mom did my makeup, but then me and my mom are just like, on different pages with makeup or what? Well, we just bicker. Mm. We're like, we literally just bicker. I mean, especially before a competition, your mom's oh. like trying to like, I remember yeah. my mom trying to like pull my hair back, like into a slick back just thing like and me yelling screaming, at her. Right? Yeah. And it's just like not the time. So honestly, towards the beginning, Maddie would do my makeup. Like every morning we would wake up, she was like 11 and like doing my like, <laughs> big glam. But she was like really good at makeup. Are so, we talking about Maddie Ziegler? Yeah, okay. Maddie Ziegler, yeah. Okay. So she did my makeup a lot, honestly. She did a lot of the girls' makeup. And then I was on the show and I was literally competing every single weekend. So then I just got really good at makeup. And like, yeah. I'm really upset that I didn't like take the beauty path. Like, what was I thinking? I kind of failed on that. I could be a makeup guru like, and like right. be making bank. It doesn't come naturally to me. Okay, Makeup see? and hair, like, it just, it's not something I'm good at. Hair doesn't for me. Like, if I ever have a daughter, she will never be seen in a French braid. There's nothing going on. Like, <laughs> a there's fish nothing. Tail? Yeah. Baby, you better, like, get on YouTube and figure <laughs> yeah. it out because I have no idea. Some 12-year-old can do it and it's just not going to be me. But I can't do makeup. So I'm just, I think I'm too lazy sometimes. I'm like, I try to get in the TikTok edit ready with me. Mm vibe I can't do it I'm I, so very good I tried to do a get ready with me a couple <laughs> weeks ago for the first time yeah and I'm actually gonna show it to you after this I can't wait I did 10 minutes <laughs> and then I had finished my concealer but I had told <laughs> I had told an entire story and I was like super engaging that's probably because you're like you do this, so it's different. Like, you only have three minutes. You don't have 30. Like, this is TikTok. So I had done, and I'm. this is not an exaggeration, 10 minutes. And then I looked over to my friend who's, like, always on TikTok. And I'm like, so can I just end it there? And she's like, no, you're supposed to actually do your entire face and Everything. makeup during a get ready with me. So I don't know how girls multitask and do that. That shit was crazy. No, that's literally me. I can't. Like, I'll, I'll do the same thing. Or then, like... I'll start it and it'll be like when I'm going out, you know, mm -hmm. and then I'll start drinking and then I get drunk Oof. and then I forget <laughs> to finish the rest. And then I go out and I come home and I'm like, oh, or it's like, you know, just like Alex Earl, like how does she film everything? I don't everything. know. I posted three TikToks while I'm here. I um, hired this girl who's like kind of been helping me with socials. Okay. And I was like, how do I get on that Alex Earl level? And yeah. she was like, it, it's just, it's not in the cards for you. Yeah. And I was like, wait, <laughs> got it. Wait, why? Like, what? I love why would the you honesty, say that? though. Somebody needs to tell, like, us that. She, I know. I, and I loved that. And she said, you have to be documenting every second yeah. of every hour of every day. And yeah. that's just not my personality. Yeah, like, I can do it occasionally, but like, sometimes I'm like, I'm tired. I yeah. Don't know. Like, I just, like, I can't keep no. it. No. I don't know how. Like, I went and looked at, like, all the girlies' TikToks, like, this morning. And I was like, 
Oh, so everybody's posted 30, like four a day. <laughs> I've posted <laughs> one, uh, twice. I don't, yeah. I think it's just, you have to be like a different type of bitch, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's not us. And no. We'll and, sit here and we'll do this. We'll have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe like some, hopefully we'll get like a, a picture. Yeah, no. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this morning I literally was like trying to like pick out. I was like, ooh, what TikToks am I going to do with Sophia? And I'm like, I like, we're, we're not going to we'll, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I just know us. I we're know, not babe. Do it. There's no way we're getting a TikTok. Babe, if you guys this. see a TikTok come out, mm-hmm. please give it some. Please yeah. give us some like something. Please, please share it, like, <laughs> comment, <laughs> and maybe that will give us motivation. Guys, I know that sometimes life moves a lot faster than our paychecks do. But luckily for us, I have just the thing to fix that. Money can be in your hands today with earn in earn in is an app that lets you access your pay as you work up to a hundred dollars per day or up to seven hundred and fifty dollars per pay period and yes you heard that correctly no more waiting two weeks until the next time you get paid even though you're working your ass off every day anyone that knows me knows i have been through my fair share of jobs where earn in would have really come in handy. I mean, really, really, really. If Beans and Brews, barista of the year, AKA me, had this, maybe I wouldn't have had to, you know, resort to doing other illegal activity in the drive through window. If you know, you know. So join over three and a half million customers who are already using Earnin and have peace of mind knowing you no longer have to count down the days to your next pay period. Download Earn In today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earn In app, type in Sophia under podcast when you sign up. It'll really help the show, by the way. Sophia under podcast, subject to your available earnings, daily max and pay period max. See earnin.com slash TOS for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC. So I just want to talk a bunch of shit because I'm in the mood. I love talking shit. It's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. I do want to ask one deep question. I do want to give people some substance before we just like go off and talk shit. (laughs) This is like my one podcast, one thing I ever do before I go back into my Scottsdale hole and never do anything again. (laughs) So say, get what you want out of me. Yes. Okay. So I got, I got to maximize this (laughs) shit right now. I don't want to harp on Dance Moms. I just uh, did an interview with Abby Lee Miller. Is she not like the most wild human you've ever met? So wild. And it was really like so rejuvenating. And I was just like, I forgot people like you exist. Well, she's gone through like hell and back. That's true. (laughs) Right. Had cancer. on cancer. Yeah. Yeah, It's a whole thing. So I'm obsessed with her. But you talked about how there was a lot of trauma being on Dance Moms. Mm -hmm. And then... It was only recently that you figured out a way to kind of manage the anxiety and stuff that Mm -hmm. you dealt with. And I do want to talk about that, like managing anxiety and like what kind of like advice or things you do. For sure. So I've recently gone back and like started watching it more Mm -hmm. just to kind of, you know, figure out like what the fuck happened for those. Well, because you were on it. I don't even know how long. I mean, how old were you? You were 12. I think I started when I was 12-ish, 11, 12. Yeah. So I go back and I watch it now and I'm like, I had no personality. But also you were 12. I was just trying to go through the motions and like know my dance and get on stage. Right. You know, like I was just like going through the motions. So I feel like after the show is whenever I really started to like find my personality and like have emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's why I got such bad anxiety because I just kind of pushed everything down for so long when I was on the show. Just just because I was basically trying to get through life. Yes. You know, like I was just trying to like do what I was supposed to do, not get yelled at and like keep going. And you have to put on a performance I I know exactly what you're talking about you're not doing something where like you can just kind of like be in a bad mood and no one will notice no you're on tv you're in front of people so if you are feeling some type of way sad anxiety you have to suppress it yeah like I suppressed all of my emotions during the show 100 so once I got out of it during covid and I like hate talking about covid and like the whole time of life because it was just horrid but that's when I really started to have such bad anxiety I was living at home 
I seriously was in like my most depressed, anxious moment. Like seriously, five panic attacks a day. Like Damn. can't even explain what I was feeling and how I was. Like as a person, I just did not feel like myself. Mm -hmm. And my mom and you know, my family was like, we know you and we know this isn't you. Like to the point where I couldn't drive a car because I was so anxious. Like I wouldn't work out because I was so anxious. Like, like crippling anxiety, yes. but it was like debilitating. Yeah, debilitating. And I didn't really know what it was from, but I think it was just, I went also from a life where I was told what to do every second of the day. I woke up. I did my school. I went and filmed a TV show. I went to dance. I went home. And, and I did that every day for however many years. And then I get out of the show. And now I have like a life. Like I have to figure out what I want to do for myself. And I think that that's really hard for young adults just yeah. in general. It's hard for me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm 31 and I swear to God, I asked recently, Delaney, she's here right now. Uh -huh. I asked her if she could please like do time blocking for yes. me and schedule my days because yes. I not in like a, oh my God, diva. Oh my God, I'm so fucking busy. I will wake up and look at my to-do list and get so overwhelmed. Even if it just says brush your teeth, like I'm yeah. overwhelmed. Like it's just like, I don't know what it is. No, I sw I'll be like, okay, brush my teeth, but should I make my bed before or yes, after? I'm the like, same I way. get crazy. But maybe we have mental issues. And I mean, that's, that's, that's not, it's not an maybe baby girl, it's a for sure. <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> I was just telling you, I literally forgot my meds mm -hmm. <laughs> from the airport. And I said, I'm sure whatever meds you're on, I do have. <laughs> like, uh, I have some in storage Perfect. Somewhere. I'll have to stop by your house and just uh, take a look through the medicine cabinet. I'll mm -hmm. take this, this. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, to get back to that. So that's where I feel like I had really bad anxiety. And that's the whole reason why I actually just started my brand. This is my one time that I go and do something. I go on a pod. So I got to plug everything. Right? Absolutely. And I, I want to ask you about it. Yeah. Care by Kalani. Yeah. Care by Kalani. So... I was really open with my anxiety and just kind of what I was going through. I ended up also moving to LA after the show and stuff. And I was there by myself, 20, by myself, trying to figure out my life. And I was just really anxious and going through it. And I felt like when I was growing up on the show, it wasn't talked about a lot. Like mm -hmm. anxiety and these feelings that you get, like having a panic attack before you go on stage wasn't really talked about. <laughs> and no one on the show honestly really cared like the producers yeah. and stuff they don't care it actually looks better if I go and I cry and have a horrible right. day because that's great for tv right so I mean I just like felt like it wasn't a conversation that was super talked about especially for people in dance because I know that it's just I know obviously me being a dancer I don't know how the cheerleading world was but <laughs> <laughs> okay was that some shade I just heard I heard a little shade. okay I actually think dancers like technically don't like cheerleaders I think that's like a thing I wanted to ask Abby like how do you feel about cheerleaders but I forgot to ask oh her. I don't know you know I think maybe there's a little bit more art you know what I'm not gonna say shit because all the cheerleaders are gonna it's come hard. out hard no both things are very yeah, difficult I agree. in their own right no yeah but like <laughs> to go back to my brand I'm like Keep on trucking. Need to get this out. Yes, <laughs> like I need everybody to buy it, please. I'm yes. broke. <laughs> Help. Everyone, go buy it. No, no but I but do want to hear about it. I wanted to start a brand that was meaningful. I think that a lot of people in our space and influencers and these things, you know, all start these brands, right? Because we're all supposed to start a brand now because we have a platform. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, your management people give you these opportunities to start these things that you just kind of, they do it as a money grab, I feel like yeah. sometimes. I and mean, that's not for everyone, obviously, but some people. And I really wanted to create a brand that was meaningful towards me and would be able to like help others mm -hmm. and things that I use on my everyday life whenever I'm having anxiety. Like I literally have anxiety every day, I swear. That was the whole point of starting Care by Kalani. So tell me more about it. Like what is it exactly? Yeah. Um, it's really just health and wellness space. There's so many different things. Like I have things like um, a massage gun and stuff, which is good for like dance and recovery. I also teach dance now too. So a lot of my students and kids use that. And there's like the headband, which is my personal favorite. Uh -huh. I, I use it in my get ready with me TikToks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have the little eye mask yes, thing and you in my put, freezer right now. Like the little gel yes, pads. That, that's what I was just talking about. That uh -huh. one's my favorite. So when I'm like anxious and I'm having a panic attack, my thing is to hold something cold. Like I'll hold an ice cube or I'll put like cooling pads or something on my head. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the point of that. Because I never saw anybody do like a headband with something like that. So and you can also do the heating pads too. So like I saw in I the saw winter, that. it gets cold here. That was like my, that's one of my most favorite things I've received in a while. Slay. I instantly like had a feeling of calm, just all yeah. of the things in there. That was like the point. Like I just think that everybody needs to include self-care in their everyday lives. Mm -hmm. I think it's important 
and you're just like weak, like, right? We're so busy this week for New York Fashion Week and everybody needs to have those days. Like occasionally you can't just go, 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 go all the time or you're gonna lose it, which I'm sure we've, we've lost it many times. <laughs> yes. We continue to lose it, but yeah. it's like you have to have that time set aside to have self-care and take care of yourself. You do. So that was kind of the point of my brand. I wanted to create something to help people, you know, remind themselves that they need to do that. And right. Yeah. Well, what I also really loved about it is there's so many wellness products. They're not even wellness, but like deep blow yeah. or, you know, gua sha your face. So like you look better and you yeah. deep puff. Care by Kalani has yeah. all of those elements, but with a real emphasis on wellness yeah. and like taking care of your mental while you're sure. also taking care of, you know, the physical. Yeah, that was definitely the goal because I mean, we always want to like look good too. Yeah. I'm always trying to deep puff and stuff. It's great for hangovers whenever you're hungover. Mm -hmm. This is like my favorite thing. I gave all my friends a package. There's like the one, the jade eye mask. It's, you need to put it in the fridge. Oh, I see. Yes. yes I want to put it in the one. fridge. And then whenever you're really hungover in the morning, lay it on your eyes. It's quite literally the best thing. It's my birthday oh, and like at the end of the month. <gasps> and 23, I'm so. <laughs> me fake laughing <laughs> like I'm gonna jump across the couch no I can't wait to be like 25 30 that's like my like I'm excited for that age yeah I hear it's good it's I think I feel a lot more uh even keeled and okay. calm like I think yeah. in my 20s I was like what the fuck yeah and I'm still what the fuck now but it was what the fuck no like 20s. you look back at it and you're like oh yeah. I already do that to myself that in like my LA days when I lived in LA I'm like, what happened? Los Angeles, yeah. That's I hate that place. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, that was really that, like, no, that no, was no. quick, but no, I know. No, just, no, I, no, no. I talk about this on every episode, so I was holding back, but I'm glad you said it this yeah, time and not me. I can't do it. It's yeah, that, I see why you like went back to Arizona. I like New York. Love New York. It's a good spot. People say New York is like it's such a hustle and bustle and so crazy that it yeah. would give you anxiety. And for some reason, I find it to be like very calming. I don't know why. I just like love it here. I think it's because people don't care as much. Mm -hmm. Like in LA, I feel like everybody just cares about everything. Like in New York, nobody cares about anything. Yeah. Which I think is what makes it give you like not have anxiety is because like no one cares. It's so true. Yeah. No one gives a flying fuck. No. And they I really love it. don't. I love it for that. I know. Me too. <laughs> I love it for that too. Okay. So back to talking shit. Yay! I just wanted to get a few things off my chest. Like icks that I've had recently. I love a good ick. So... <laughs> we can talk about social media icks because there's so many of them. Although I was really trying to come up with some. I feel like selfies are a no-go zone. Like at all. At all. We don't and selfie anymore. As I literally just selfied in the car on the way here. No, but it. It. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on your story? Yes. Was it just, was it like yes. a video selfie or just a static just selfie? Just like a cute little, like just a se car selfie, but just like not for the feed. Just for the story. Okay. If you ever take a selfie as a man, like, oh my gosh. No. If the, I see that on a feed, no, absolutely I will cry. Not. I know. Yeah. What about on a dating app if you saw like a selfie in a dating a app? A dude? Dude. Absolutely fucking not. Honestly, even a girl selfie on a dating app wouldn't work. I mean, I think for a girl, she could get away with it more. I expect for a dude, every single picture that's on his dating profile yeah. to be like an accident picture i expect like you playing basketball you playing right football. right like you're an athlete like you had <laughs> nothing yeah 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 you had nothing to do with the picture yes it was taken by accident yes. and your mom sent it to you and you uploaded it yes this has been an ick for me is okay i love dogs as much as the next person okay, okay? and i love babies as much as the next person okay it's when you are with a dude or a group of dudes and then there is this girl and a dog comes into the elevator and, she's like, oh! and she falls to her I knees can't. and is like oh my god and goes batshit crazy obsessed with the dog no i don't know i think that that's the most ickiest like grossest thing i'm like you're not this obsessed with a dog you are, you are not no we, one is we, no one is. we saw a chihuahua like the other day uh -huh. and you did not act this way <laughs> I feel like most of the guys, at least I'm friends with or talk to, would be like, you're weird. Like, that's weird <laughs> behavior. But that's I weird behavior. I think I was with um, one of my girlfriends the other day, and I love her to death. Uh -huh. And we were with um, this guy I'm dating and, like, some other oh, dudes. Oh, you're dating. Yeah. I'm dating, but I'm fully available for anyone listening. Got it. We were all hanging out, and 
a stroller came by. With a baby. With a baby in it. And my friend started going off, obsessing about the baby. And I it's was just, just thinking to myself, you're making me look like a monster. <laughs> like, yeah. because I'm not giving the baby the same amount of attention. I have a baby sister. That's okay. one. So babies to me are like normal. You know, <laughs> like I'm just like, oh, like I'm around a baby all the time. So yeah. I don't really look at babies like, oh, like my best friend has a baby. And it's like. Oh, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not like, I'm not like going to obsess over somebody's kid. Like, I think it's kind of weird. Truthfully, that's my thing. I I think it is Go have your own if you're so obsessed. I totally agree. I mean, unless you can't, I could see how that could be. Well, yeah, of course. But, and then the, and then the dogs. Yeah. Like, I love a dog. I, I'm a dog person, not a cat person. I hate cats. Okay. Like, I'm afraid of them. Thank you. I'm afraid of cats. Like, I run away. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't like them. What what scares you about them? My best friend growing up had a fear of cats. Mm-hmm. So then I just developed the fear of cats. Okay. Like growing up. Oh my God, I used to hook up with this guy. Slash, yeah, hook up. <laughs> I'm like not date. I definitely wasn't dating. He actually randomly just called me last night. I was uh-huh. like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, can't you see like I'm at New York Fashion Week? Like, I'm Hello, not in Arizona. have you not seen the one TikTok that I posted <laughs> since I've been here? What the fuck? And the one photo and the one Instagram story. What the fuck? But he had cats, and I remember just being like, I can't stay here. Like, I really can't. I've never heard of a dude having a cat. I am genuinely excited to discuss Curology, because let's face it, if you're not feeling confident about your skin, that shit carries over into every single thing you do. And I've been there, and it's not fun. My skin is okay right now. It's doing fine but it could be so, so, so much better. And I cannot wait to see what it will look like in a few months from now with Curology. I really cannot wait. Curology makes personalized prescription skincare products. Curology will set you up with a licensed dermatology provider who will then prescribe you a personalized formula that addresses your specific skin concerns and skincare goals. And it's super easy because if it wasn't easy, I would not be doing it. Just fill out a quiz about your skin, share photos, and after a consultation, your provider will prescribe a formula that was made just for you. And it gets shipped directly to your door. Curology uses custom formulas consisting of three clinically researched ingredients, making it more effective than non-prescription cleansers and moisturizers alone. Now, get up to six skincare products free, up to a $52 value with free shipping and a no-cost consultation with a licensed dermatology provider when you go to curology.com slash Sophia. Go to curology.com slash Sophia for this free offer. That's curology.com slash S-O-F-I-A. Prescription products are excluded from free product offer. Applies only to your first box. Subject to consultation. New subscribers only. See curology.com for full details. Let's talk about dating. Let's piss off every single guy we've ever dated. Amazing. Right? Yeah. So are you dating anybody? Oh, see, this is where it gets rough. I'm like, he's, I'm like, okay. I told him, I was like, I know I'm about to go on this podcast. I'm going to have to talk about you. So whatever I say is fair game. It's fair game. So Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like, and I always say this too. When you date me, you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm somebody with 7 million followers. and. What did you think? No, it's not like, but you That's know. a lot of followers. I mean, that's like, let's go. <laughs> How many do you have? I think that needs not 7 million. I can tell you that. I feel like you're more relevant though. Mm, I don't know. Like in the relevancy. <laughs> in the like you, like you have a podcast that goes up once a week. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. Thank you. I appreciate that. But you know what you're getting yourself into. Like, you know that I'm going to talk about you. Like whenever we, we broke up twice. So we're, bro- we're technically broken up right now, but like I was literally just texting him on my way here and he was like, good luck, have fun. Like whatever. So Got we're it. like still chill. But the first time we broke up, I was like really petty and like posted like Instagram photos of like me being like a thought. And was okay. like, okay. Screw you, basically. Like, yeah. you broke up with me. And he was a little upset the first time. If he Have is, you done that before? 
are you joking? <laughs> I do that even if we're together and I'm just like feeling annoyed. Yeah. You know? Facts. Me like, too. We don't even ha- like he didn't even have to break up with me. Like even just if I want a little bit of attention. Me. Or I want to start a fight. Yeah. Back to our mental illnesses. That's part of it. I love my mental illness. Me too. It makes me me. <laughs> <laughs> my mental illness literally makes me me. So I don't right. care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I know. Don't. How boring if we didn't have that. Yeah. Well, okay. So this is the thing. My ex is quite literally the complete opposite of us. Which is good. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why we've, like, worked. Mm-hmm. He just does not give a fuck. He literally, like, <laughs> goes to work, goes to the gym, and, like, goes home. Mm-hmm. And then there's, like, me. Yeah. I don't make it to work or gym. I just go out. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like that's why we work so well together because there was no like clashing. But we're we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good right now. I'm like. So what was the reason for the first breakup? First breakup. I mean, kind of the same reason as the second breakup. Low key, our situation's like boring as fuck. He just is like not completely happy with who he is and like where he's at in life. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, I can't be a good boyfriend to you if like. I'm not happy with myself. Also, he's probably early 20s, I'm assuming. He's 26, yeah. 26, yeah. okay. So he's just like, I need to figure myself out. And like, let's be real. Am I the best version of myself either right now at 22? Probably not. No. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm perfect either. Right. But like, we were just like, what's the point of dating if like we're dating to marry at this point, that's how I am. Like, I'm not just going to date someone just for the fucks of it. Like, yes. I'm going to date you because I'm like, oh, I see this with you. Like, we could accidentally have children. Mm-hmm. Like, there's so many things. Like, when you're, like, with someone, it's, like... Yeah. It's kind of, like, important, right? Yeah. So, that's kind of where we went with it. And he was just, like, look, I'm not completely happy with who I am. Right. And, like, I love you so much that I would rather us break up now. And maybe it works out again in the future. I love that. Yeah, it's actually, like, really mature. Like, I've never really had... this. He's more, like, my first boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Every other guy I've talked to, I've said I'm just, like, messing around with. Yeah, like, you didn't... Yeah, so we're actually really healthy. So I can't really say much. Like, we're, like, still friends and, like, cool. Like, So you guys aren't, like, officially together right now? No, we're not together But you're in each other's lives. You have love for each other. Yeah, I mean, and also, like, I feel like when you break up, do you actually actually ever, like, fully break up, like, right away? You don't break up and you don't get over someone until you're on to a new person. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Like I was kind of with a guy before him, but then I kind of crossed over, which that was kind of bad. Mm-hmm. I had a little bit of a crossover. I've moment. never been in a relationship that wasn't a crossover. Okay. If that makes you feel any better. Yeah. I'm like, you've cheated too, right? I've never I've, cheated. I've only cheated. I'm like, I've never cheated, but you've cheated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Slay, so if I ever do cheat, yeah. I, don't feel, I wouldn't cheat actually. Not at this point. Maybe when I was younger though, I totally would have. When's the last time you cheated? <laughs> In my last relationship. Okay. This current one, we've broken up before, but I have not cheated. Oh, that's good. We broke up, (laughs) and now we're kind of trying things again. Yeah. And I really would not cheat because you grew up really fast. Yeah, really fast. You've been on TV since. Yeah. So, I mean, when I was 22, I was like, there was no seriousness behind any relationship. No, I get that. I think for me, since I have grown up so fast, that, like, I don't mind, like, dating someone and, like, literally, like, getting married and having kids. Like, totally. that doesn't, like, sound like a horrible thing to me. Like, mm-hmm. I, you know, and some people don't want that. But, like, I do. Like, when I date someone, I'm like, oh, that's what I look for. Like, oh, okay. Like, in two years from now, I really hope that there's a ring on my finger. Like, yeah. seriously. And it better be fat. Okay. Two Back years away. from now. Yeah. yeah. No, 20. I said 25. Oh, I guess it is two years, technically. Okay. I'm almost 23. I mean, I think that's completely valid. Yeah, and then, like, 27, like, maybe a kid before 30. But, like, how can I plan? Who knows? I mean, listen. I might I'm, not even end up with him. You might not. You never, you never know. You never know. I like, though, what you said about having a fat ring on your finger. Because— No, I'm laughing at the thing, the, the whole thing that just came out with you talking about the I money know. and shit. I was just about to fucking go there. I'm like, so that's so interesting you bring that up because— <laughs> um, Fox News and I guess the entire world is yes. talking about how many twist. My mom texted me the other day, mm-hmm. yesterday, and was like, I am freaking the fuck out. My friend just called me who lives in Chile. Wait, and where said, is that? That is next to Argentina in South America. Oh, okay. And she, and Sorry, said, I barely went to school. <laughs> I'm like, geography Honestly, doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, geography doesn't matter. Okay, got it. You know what Sounds I mean? Good. Hop um, on the plane and I'll get there, right? <laughs> But her friend saw me in a fucking local newspaper in Chile for this 
for this thing. You're kidding. No. And then my mom started looking into it and I'm like in the number one newspaper in Argentina. They're writing about me. They were comparing me to Shakira. I'm like, <laughs> they're comparing like, me to Shakira. Th- like, got this, it. This got is it. the shit that like gets picked up and I get compared to Shakira this for. Is, this Because I guess Shakira came out with this song where she's talking about how like the guy she's going to be with needs to have money or some shit. Okay. No. This is, this is what I was just talking about this with my ex actually. And He's the same way. He's like, I want us to be together when I'm like, have a ton of money and I can give us like an amazing life. He's like, there's nothing wrong with that. And let's be for real. Money equals successful. I just want you to be successful. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like at the end of the day, I want to date someone who has a drive, who has a passion, who has something going for them. Totally. And that usually equals you have money. I totally agree with that. Did you actually check his bank account? I have done that actually. People, people think it's like I'm just putting up a front and I'm being funny. Like, no, I actually have 100% done that on multiple occasions. I like would ask. Half because I want to know. Half because I think it's funny to I just think be it's completely funny. out of pocket outrageous. I'm the same way. I'm so outrageous. Like, I was out the other <laughs> night here in New York and I was with like these athletes. How I ended up with them, I don't even know. Okay, why wasn't I invited and can we hang out with them tonight? Because- You're I, like, Sophia, they're 21, so no. no. You, I'm like, you can come. I don't. I didn't get any of their numbers or anything. <laughs> no, what happened was, okay, I was at the Cipriani place. Is uh-huh. that, it's the Italian restaurant. Yeah, the owner of Cipriani. We have a love-hate relationship with oh, each other, so- Got it. Continue. Cool. And then there's that place upstairs. Yes. I don't know what it's called. Socialista. Socialista. Mm-hmm. So I decide, oh, I want to go out. Like, I'm going out tonight mm-hmm. and I want to go up there. How I'm going to get up there, I don't know. Because they're like, it's a guest list. I go, just let me up. Yeah. Like, I literally was like, just <laughs> there and I literally was like, just let me up. Like, what's the issue? I'm like, right. just let me up. Yeah. And he was like, fine. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got let up there, went there. I was like, slay. Sometimes, you know, like, things just happen. I get downstairs and I'm like, oh, okay, well, now I got to go somewhere else. So where am I going to go? I don't know anybody. I just hop in the sprinter van. <laughs> just with randoms? The athletes. Oh, okay. But I, you had no idea who they were. They just like no. roll down the window. They're like, you're hot. Get in here. No, like, I no. I just walked in with them. <laughs> oh, you walked in. Okay. I think my friend might have known somebody. Okay. I don't know. I end up there. We're in the car and I'm just like, but that goes back to like how you were saying. You're like, I'm just like fucking with them. Like, it's like fun. Yeah. That's what I was doing. I was like, just fucking with them. And it was like, Funny, like it's not that deep. Like yes. being out of pocket, it's like funny. I it is. Know. It is so funny. I'm not gonna. I do that. I do that with guys all the time. Like yeah. I'm just like out of pocket. Like if you really don't like me, like the, ow, my feelings are so. Hard. I know. I Tr- trust care. me. Like I get enough people telling me they don't like me on a day to day basis. Oh, same just girl. On my social media. Same. I'm. I'm just. I'm not gonna sit on a first date and be like, okay, so like, what do you do? Like, tell me yeah. about your upbringing. Like, what was no, you know, yeah. what was it like growing up in. Kansas, and I'll tell you about Utah. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not doing that. You being from Utah is also just hysterical. It's really funny. Cause like, like, it's it really is crazy. In, in not in Scottsdale, but where I grew up in, like Arizona, like Queen Creek area, mm-hmm. very like Mormon central. Like, oh, a lot really? Of people, yeah. Okay, that's Same really sort interesting. Of vibe. So a lot of my friends are like Mormon. Okay, actually, are you like the black sheep because you're like out here drinking and shit? Or do they love no. you for who you are? Now now they're like, we call them like the Jack Mormons. But like a lot of them just kind of didn't like stick with it. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a lot of my friends too. Yeah, I was like, do you have lots of Mormon friends? I, well, I went to private Catholic school. I, I went to Catholic school. Oh, you did? Until I didn't go to school. And then I was okay. on the show. Wait, <laughs> we did school on the show, but like, does it count? Like, I know, like, what was, I mean, was it like getting, did you guys get homeschooled or what was it? Yeah, like we had three hours a day. Like before, because that's like the rules, uh-huh. the law, like the law. You have to, your kids oh, have to like go to okay, It's a legal thing. Yeah, it's like a legal thing. Got it. I'm like, did I graduate high school? I don't know. Okay. I'm like, mom, where's my diploma? <laughs> I'm like, for real. I asked my mom the other day, I was like, do I actually have a diploma? She was like, Kalani, of course you have a diploma. She like got so mad. I was like, I never saw it. I don't know. I, they should start a school, like a social media influencer school. And you can just send your kids there. I like mean, how to kill it on social media. How to kill it on social no, media. No, I'm being dead We ass. won't be starting it because we actually no. need to attend it. <laughs> we'll be with the 12-year-olds learning how to kill it on social media. And I'm like, can I join that school? But yeah. um, Like, is there an age limit on this? <laughs> I know. No, I really, I, I want to do a master class, someone to teach me how to run my socials and how to do my makeup. But the thing is, is we wouldn't listen. We wouldn't make the class. We'd be out drunk until four in the morning and be like, shit, we actually have to go. <laughs> the worst student ever. I, yeah, I would be. Yeah. Except for dance student. I was a good one of those. You were a great fucking dance student. You killed it. My claim to fame. I'm actually a good dancer. I do have to say that. That's Incredible. One thing I have 
is I will say I'm a good dancer. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't got much to say. But that that's my one thing. Okay, I'm trying to think of one thing that I can say I'm really, really Yeah, good like what's at. your like, oh, that's my thing. Like I'm good at it. I mean, podcasting. Podcasting. Yeah, that's your thing. I think my interview skills are just incredible. I think they're amazing. I think the thing with you is you're like an interesting person and you like don't talk like an interviewer. Like I'm like, we're like friends. Like Thank we can you. just like talk for fun. I hate doing interviews where it's like, I'm not going to, you know, give my two cents on anything. Yeah. I'm just going to, like, extrapolate shit from yeah. you the entire time. Like, I want to have a conversation. Have you had, like, good guests on, like, that you all, like, like? Or has there been a couple of interviews where, like, oh, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I, I mean, I've had both. Okay, what did you think about Abby? I, that, that, was a, topic. that was a great, great interview. Can't she just talk for days? She can talk for days. It was so funny because at the end, we had, like, five minutes left, and I yeah. said— her, like, manager was like, okay, we need to wrap up. And I said, okay, Abby, I'm just going to do rapid fire was questions it, um, now. The guy? Yes. Gay guy? Yes. I just met him the other night. Love him. Yeah, I hung out with him the other night. Oh, you guys yeah. hung out? Yeah. Oh. We went to, like, the Giovanni show, and then he was there. <laughs> I was this close to going to Giovanni, and yeah, then I was just way too exhausted. She just sat with me. We could have been besties. Actually, I know. we've been at we similar will. places. We will. Yeah, bitch, can we hang out? Hello, Fashion Week. Like, Fashion Week is just getting started. Okay, what are we doing? We can have no dinner idea. for real. Yes. I feel like we'd actually be friends. Hey, to all my friends. Sophia's my friend. No, my friends are, like, shitting at home. They're like, how's it going? <laughs> oh. Send Pictures. No, we're like obsessed with you. We're fangirls. Oh I my listen God, to every thank episode. You. So I'm like asking who's your favorite interview. Like, bitch, I, I literally watched all of them. <laughs> every single one. Never missed no, an episode. No, that like that means the world to me. Thank you so much. What do you much. do? You drop on Thursdays, right? Yeah, drop on Thursdays. Um, and I'm like thinking back on this interview that we just did, and people are gonna think like we took a hit out of like a meth crack pipe. Well, I also know like how slow I talk normally. Because with being on TV and stuff, that's how you're supposed to do it, right? I talk way too slow. Oh. Way too you slow. You like drag your words. Everything is dragged. Everything sounds like a question. Everything I say sounds like a whine. Got it. So I love interviewing people like you because then I talk at a normal pace. A normal pace. I'm pretty fast. I love but it. But we also have been like jumping around. Like we, I barely can keep my thoughts straight right now. So if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Cause... And you know the scary thing is, is I took my Adderall today. Oh. I was, I've been trying not to take it. Like okay. I went to Italy. I didn't take it once. I slept for like three days straight. And then I was like, you know what? I'm so tired. Do you take I'm, it every day? I don't take it any like every day anymore. Okay. But I was so fucking tired and mm -hmm. I was just like my brain wasn't working. So I took it today and I'm like, so it's it's not really working. Okay. Because I've been jumping or like, did we stay on one topic? I don't think we've talked about one finished one thought, but it's all right. For anyone listening, we are <laughs> We are um, huge advocates for medication if you need it. <laughs> I if love you're diagnosed with something. My Prozac, my lifesaver. Prozac, <laughs> Adderall. If they don't fucking sponsor this shit, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, it's like Prozac sponsor. Is that <laughs> even allowed? I don't think, I don't know. Maybe they can't sponsor, but like, have you seen that Lady Gaga commercial and I keep seeing it and it's like, very bizarre to me. She's like playing the piano, but it's like for, um, like, I don't know what medicine it's for. Wait, there's the migraine one that Khloe Kardashian does. <laughs> Too, that I see a lot. I'm like doing, I'm like dancing, doing a Prozac commercial. <laughs> okay. They're like, we actually don't want to sponsor you Z list celebrities. We, we don't care we about actually, you. You guys are actually not great representation <laughs> for what the meds are supposed to be doing. <laughs> we, we beg to differ. Yeah, we beg to beg differ. Beg to differ. Okay. Connie, this has been. Thank you. Because I walked in here so tired and just like low energy. I could wake you up. And now I feel like I could go run a marathon. Or maybe it was my Adderall kicking in. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe I should take it earlier. Late, yeah. Oh my God. We'll figure it out. We'll I'm going to say, I'm gonna say it was me just to feel better. I really <laughs> truly think it was you. You are one of my favorite people I've ever had on Smooth oh. Enough. Your, your energy. Don't and just, say this to me. No. Don't say You're this. like, I just my, went from Z-list to A-list from that comment. My <laughs> ego is like up here right now. So don't even play. No, I love it. <laughs> We're like the paparazzi's literally outside waiting for us on the street. Like, I just out. love acting completely Delulu. I think it's hilarious. I'm the most delusional person there. Quite so honestly. delusional, but we're still so self-aware that like we know where we are in the celebrity scale. Yeah, you know? I'm down here. Like I'm going to step aside for the real celebrities. So I, I was walk doing into that. This I, Alice and Olivia, show. that was me. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I know. I'm like, I'm, get the I'm so sorry here. I'm even here. <laughs> I don't even know how I got Like, why am I even worry. here? I apologize. Literally, that's how I feel. <laughs> okay, Kalani. Um, 
plug plug away care by kalani and it's care with a k kalani. yes with the k kalani care. with the k. k sophia with an f mm-hmm. what can we say yes and um where just, can they find you just kalani hilliker on everything mm-hmm. find me anywhere find me on tiktok and <laughs> and youtube and you, i don't really do a ton of youtube but i you probably should anymore? Okay, you have a lot of subscribers on YouTube. I saw that. <laughs> oh, that's good. I don't ever post. <laughs> Maybe I need to get on that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Not only do we have to TikTok, we gotta get the YouTube. We gotta get. We gotta get it all. And up. I'm sure there's like something new that's coming that we gotta hop I on. I know. Like, I know. We're friends. There's gonna be a new thing around the corner. We'll get on it. We'll get on it. We'll get on it. Or someone will for us. Yeah. For sure. We'll pay someone. <laughs> <laughs> I really do need to like get someone to run my socials. I've but insane. Kalani, thank you so 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 much. And you guys know where to find me. So if you have enough, Franklin with a Y, subscribe, and I will talk to you sleuths next week. Bye. Bye, sleuths. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs>